Hello and welcome, Exiles, to a video I don't think I ever imagined I would make. And it's a video about Destructive Link, a Link skill. I don't know how we ended up here, but I have to say this has actually caught me by surprise in terms of this thing's actually really powerful and it doesn't quite communicate the way it works very clearly, at least in my opinion, whenever I read this skill initially and before ever trying it, even when I thought about using it in this character, I didn't understand how this worked until actually being corrected in chat about how it worked and then further testing some things and theorizing about how it could be used. And the weird part about how this skill works is it's not giving the thing you're supporting the link with the base crit of your weapon. Like it's not like overriding the base crit. Like I thought the way this thing worked is it would overwrite the base crit of the thing you were supporting so say you had an enemy or you had a teammate who had a five base crit weapon you could give them four base crit here and their crit chance would scale it that's not how this works at all this effectively takes whatever your default attack crit chance is or whatever base crit your main hand weapon has plus all your crit chance scaling and then whatever that crit number is is what it puts on your ally or the thing you're linked now this is interesting for two types of builds. Number one is a support build where you're supporting an attack based character. And number two is a support build, uh, not really a support build, but when you're playing with permanent minions, mini things that you can afford to link because they're not gonna disappear. For example, I am playing a Wraith Lord build where I have eight permanent specters and I'm supporting them. Why is this interesting? Well, number one is if you're playing a minion build, you'll know solving crit, like getting high crit chance on minions is not easy. The only crit wheel you have on the tree is basically right here. And you effectively, between this whole wheel, have about 100% crit chance. Most of your minions will have five base crit. And then on top of that, you have, okay, I could give my minions power charges. I could give them increased crit strike support. I could give them offering. Like, you start investing a ton into it. <laughs> and Assassin's Mark, you name it. You add all these things into it you don't really end up with that high of a crit chance. And it costs a lot of investment. And that's just what it is for minions. There's not a lot of sources of percent crit chance. Well, in comes Destructive Link. And let me tell you, you can get a pretty high base crit chance to give to your minions a lot easier than you can if you were actually trying to get the crit chance for those minions yourself. Let me, let me demonstrate. So for example here, I have Destructive Link. In my main hand, I have a weapon that has nine base crit. This is just a benchcraft crit chance. Obviously, if I high rolled this weapon, I could have like a T1 attack crit, which would be 38% instead of 25. This would take it all the way to like a 10 base crit. But the point is I have a weapon with base crit. And then in support of that, I have two crit grand spectrums. I have a grand spectrum with minimum power charge somewhere. Okay, so I have 300% crit chance between 75, 75, and 150. So that's 300% crit chance, follow with me. And then I have two Tekrod's Gaze. This is kind of a random little thing I'm doing, but Tekrod's Gaze gives you 40% crit chance per uh, Murderous Eye Jewel, and it counts itself. So if you're having two of them, you get 160% crit chance from two Tekrod's Gazes. Now you're thinking, okay, how's that investment? You're investing in to the build. I'm investing five Jewel slots, okay? I'm investing five Jewel slots, and I'm investing into crit chance on my weapon. How much crit chance do you end up with? And then also a little bit on top of that, we do have precision. Granted, I wanted precision anyways for the accuracy. I am kind of some pseudo aura scaling character, but needless to say, this, this crit chance is gonna be a little bit more than you thought. Oh, also you can use things like diamond flask. So you, I am using a flask, right? We have five jewel slots, diamond flask, the bench craft, and we are using precision, right? In terms of investment, you might say that's a lot. In my opinion, I think that's actually quite little for the amount of crit chance we're getting because we're not we're not investing into our curse into it. I can go double Ellie Rise curses because I have physical minions, so I can go Ellie Weakness plus Frostbite. I'm not investing into Assassin's Mark. I'm not investing into the opportunity cost of a bunch of passes on the tree to get crit chance. I'm not investing a, a gem that supports my characters like crit strikes. I'm not using a damage link. So in my opinion, this is a much lower investment. Now, let me show you what the crit chance we're giving these guys are now if you look at our crit chance right now it is 83 and then if we have our link skill up goes to 85 i'm giving them an 85 percent chance to crit in my opinion that is pretty wows that's pretty insane i don't know what i was gonna say wows but i don't know where that went anyways link skill 
it has the downside of it does cost mana. It is a pretty high mana intensive skill where you're we are degening for about 240 mana re, uh 240 mana. I do have about 400 mana regen, so it's not a big deal for my character, but obviously there's some things you have to solve. But the point is it's a way to get a very high crit chance on an attack based minion or if you're supporting an ally, like you're making a duo and you're supporting, you want to support an attack based character. There's actually some interesting implications. Number one is you can fix their crit where they don't have to invest in crit under their character at all. They can full invest into things like speed, percent damage scaling, you name it, right? They can invest their damage elsewhere. They don't have to invest in a crit. And number two, one of the more interesting things, which I think, or implications, I think, it it, oh, it completely overwrites the base crit of whatever your ally is and, and puts in your own. Essentially, what I think this would do is it would take, for example, a Marilyn's Fallacy, the amulet that gives about 240 to 300 crit multi, you could put that on the character you're supporting, and I believe it would work where that less crit chance would just be completely nullified. You'd be overriding it. So you'd be able to support an attack-based character where you're fixing their crit and giving them 300 crit multi on their amulet slot, and they can invest into other damage scalers, which could make a pretty powerful duo. I just think this is something I never heard about. I'm sure there were people that maybe knew about how this worked, but for me, it's just kind of surprising because based on the wording i completely misinterpreted this to be the base crit of your weapon is given to the thing you're supporting and they still need crit chance to scale it they don't need increased crit chance investment at all and it completely overrides it now you can test this via having a somebody come to your party have them link you and their crit chance will match your crit chance and granted this only works for attack based skills where you're using your main hand i.e a bow a two-hand weapon or a one hand plus shield situation I don't think it'll work in a dual wield situation. If it's a dual wield situation, it might be. I'm not sure how that would pan out. It might not work in a dual wield situation where half the time they don't have the crit chance because it specifically specifies main hand. But don't quote me on that. I think this is very interesting. Um, and I'm using all this character. I think it's quite strong. I wanted to make a separate video about this because I was just surprised at how strong this thing was uh, for this build that I'm testing. And uh, yeah, so that is that is the the talk about link skills they get um pretty strong in that regard uh specifically just destructive league and yeah i'm just enjoying all this character i want to say one thing i also i think i messed up my tree a little bit because oh i know what i did i was testing uber shaper and i needed minion leech at the time uber shaper was just a little bit too dangerous for my guys but uh with the link skills i use this uh these these notes here with the mastery for uh, this it ends up giving us percent ES of about like 30% so this wheel is actually very efficient for my character because I'm using a Prandis pack with ES right here and on top of that the additional link means even though you might think okay link skills that's going to be painful to play it's it's really not I have um, eight minions here my skill cast within uh, basically I cast five times a second uh i can cast and cover all these minions in about 0.4 seconds because i have eight of them and it casts i need to cast four times and this is what it looks like right you, you do you do a little bit like essentially and it lasts for 13 seconds i'm not really doing anything outside of putting a curse on a boss and then outside of that i'm just moving around occasionally i'll class val haste but it's basically just every 14 seconds you need to do you need to do one of these where you kind of put it on your dudes like i mean if you want to go completely afk you can't do link skills obviously but as far as like oh this is gonna be too much effort link skills are gonna be annoying to play i i don't even notice it it auto targets i can have i can have my mouse over here and it'll auto target the other minions like you don't really need to aim it or anything you don't need to think about it it's just whatever minions you have it'll link to and it casts really fast so it's not i don't know <laughs> my impression is it's pretty dang chill and i wanted to make this video about it because i think destructive link uh is maybe a bit slept on in terms of the use case of an attack based minion or a duo support situation um because this is quite powerful the fact you can overwrite somebody's bad crit give them good crit and on top of that um <laughs> you also give them 50 crit multi right so it's quite powerful in my opinion and maybe there's some gonna be gonna be some good uses that come from this video we'll see i don't know my opinion is quite strong skill hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always thanks for watching excels take care and peace out